Hey everybody, welcome back to Sierra Slasher channel and welcome to a new video. So I'm excited because today we're doing a book haul video. I know it's a little bit counterintuitive because I just did an unhaul like two weeks ago. So you know what it is though, the life of a bookworm, am I right? I recently went to Barnes & Noble because they're having a 50% off sale. I think by the time this video goes up, it will either be have ended or will be the last day of the sale. So if it is the last day, if you still have time, catch that sale, girl. And I got six books. Guys, I have never walked out of Barnes & Noble with more than like two books at a time. So like, this was a big deal for me. And um, some of the books that I got, I was really excited to read. Some of them I didn't even anticipate reading, but um, it is what it is. I put a poll on Twitter and I said to pick the book that I was going to get. I also put some Instagram stories which got some like really really polarized like answers you guys were like this book and this book and it was like 50 50 basically so i mean thanks for participating the first book that i picked up from bards and noble during the 50 percent off sale and the by far the most like voted for book for me to get is illuminae this is by amy kaufman and jay kristoff i don't need to explain this book i am so late to this game if you've somehow never heard of this book or this series it's all told in multimedia i'm not doing a great job of showing it but it's multimedia so Although the book is like 600 pages, it's really not like 600 pages worth of text. I really hope I like it um, because it's a series and I would hate to like start a series and not finish it. But here we are. The second book that I got from Barnes & Noble during the sale was something that I have been dying for. If you guys have been on my blog, you know I talked about this in my books that I need to read before the end of 2019 post. It is Someday by David Leviathan. <laughs> I'm so excited to read this book guys I just <laughs> I told you guys that I have been waiting to get this book because it was originally only available on hardback as we do somehow for some reason and it just got released on paperback um, I think like this week so I picked it up I'm so excited like I just oh all right the next book that I got from Barnes Noble during the sale was something that I was a little bit on the fence about reading but you guys really requested it on Instagram so I decided to go ahead and pick it up it is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nung so when this book came out I was like mm, I don't know I'm gonna let other people read it first and then I'll figure out if I want to read it it sounds like some people have said that it's really similar to the selection series which I have never read and it also is like Red Queen-esque because it's like the cast system where there's like different levels of society the cover is gorgeous it was a hardback on sale and yeah so i decided that i would pick it up i'm actually excited to read it i really hope i like it i hope it is like different than the selection and red queen in that it has something that's like a little bit original all right so for these next two books i did something very outside of my comfort zone you can't argue with 50 percent off so one of the books that i left on my instagram and twitter poll it got more votes on um instagram than it did on twitter was carvel this is by stephanie Garber again I'm late to the party what's new everybody knows what this book is about everybody's read it so I'm not gonna describe it but this book was on sale as a paperback for like six dollars and I was like oh my god okay it's popular people seem to like it I'm gonna go ahead and get it but then but then I looked to my side and what did I see I saw legendary and I was like okay well I haven't even read Carvel this is something that I wasn't really interested in reading on my own the hype got to me about this book and I was like, why would I get Car why would I get legendary if I've never read Carvel? Like, what happens if I don't like Carvel? Why would I? But then I was like, but what if I do like Carvel? What, what about that? Why would I not get the sequel that's also six dollars at half price right now if I do like it? You know. So I decided to get both books. I have never read them. They are some thick, some thick books. Okay, it's gonna take me a while to get through these books. Um, they're out of my genre comfort zone, but they're really popular. People seem to have a lot of good things to say about these books, so I'm really hoping that I like them. The last book that I got from Barnes & Noble during the 50% off sale was something that I originally went in for. Like, that was the only book that I was thinking, like, I'm gonna get this for sure, but then I got five other books along the way. It is, this time it will be different. This is by Misa Siguera. I probably didn't say that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. I just think that it's going to be a really cute story, something lighthearted, something that I'll probably read around like midterms and finals for the first term of college because I'm going to need something to keep me sane. You know what I'm talking about. I actually think I'm going to buddy read this. I found Donna from Book Devour Books with Donna on Twitter and I told, um, she put, commented on my Twitter 
thread and she said that she has this book so she wanted to read it with me so when I get to it I think we're gonna buddy read it so yeah these are the six books that I am taking with me to college so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I'm gonna put the stack down before I drop it let me know if you are excited to read any of these books if you haven't or if you have let me know what you thought about them well anyway I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will catch you guys next week bye